Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nano Ladies at Dawn. I remain Shadow Fury 333, your host, and we have the final match for tonight between North Chilean G and Dorsh. Well, replay. I should always specify. These are replays. I mean, they're pretty good replays. So, yeah, North Chilean G versus Dorsh on Ravaged. So, this map. I mean, if you haven't seen this map, you haven't been watching my, ch my channel much. It, it comes up all the time. I love this map. This is one of my favorite maps. I, it really is. I like cliffy maps in general. I find they work fairly well for 0k. I got in a bit of a YouTube comment discussion. Well, okay, it's only been like two comments back and forth about flat maps. Well, response to my previous stream where I mentioned that I thought flat maps were kind of boring. I was wondering why people were playing on those instead of hilly maps. When it was pointed out to me that there is a wider factory variety on flat maps. I mean, really? I guess vehicles sort of, but bots become far less viable. Anyway, then... I kind of pointed out that cliffy maps are the best because they offer, well, enough height variety so that bots have some way to work while being flat enough that vehicles can work and also having cliffs so that jump bots and spiders work and everything just works. And then, of course, you can have defensive positions to make an air start work. And as long as they're sized properly, and this map is actually fairly well sized and fairly well built to allow for pretty much anything to work. And we have cloaky versus jump bot, which... This is a tricky matchup. I've been often asserting, and I'm still fairly certain this is the case, that the jump bot matchup is one of the reasons why Cloaky isn't really popular. North Chilean G going for Puppies too. Very good choice. They don't know the matchup yet, but if they did, they'd probably continue going for Puppies, because that's the correct choice. When you're dealing with Glaives, Puppies just rip them to shreds. The problem is Glaives, this is actually one of the reasons why the matchup is so hard for Cloaky as opposed to for Shield. Like, Shield versus Jump Bot is a much easier matchup just because Bandits can deal with Puppies, so Puppies are no longer as useful. But, yeah, as you can see, it's just you cannot hit the Puppy when it's in Missile Mode. So it rips the Glaives to shreds because it one-shots them. Which means that you can kind of go for a weird Glaive-Tick combo if you're willing to lose some Glaives to Puppies to deal with the Pyros. Or you can do the older strategy of going for Zeus and then dealing with moderators using Glaives later. Or using ticks, like well-placed ticks and such, later. Neither of which is particularly great. The, the way it's designed, as far as I'm aware, is that you're supposed to go Warrior Zeus against... Or Warrior Zeus or Rocco Zeus against Pyro. And then moderators come in and then you throw in Glaives and you kind of mix up when you attack with what so that your opponent has to worry about in both cases both players have to mix it up because the moderators pretty much hard counter the zeus and warrior or primarily the zeus and the rocco's help against the pyros while the zeus pretty much hard counters the pyro and then the warriors would help with puppies but not really i mean the zeus is basically tanks puppies anyway the puppies generally don't come by that point and then the moderators get dealt with by the glaives which get dealt with by the pyros which then or the placeholders and pyro placeholder combo which then deals with it like or you have the acronym style which is pretty much just glaive tick dorsh seems to be going at this point for glaive so i'm assuming they're going to go with the acronym style of glaive tick but that was the last i saw of that matchup honestly the matchup has pretty much not been played since. Like People just really kind of stopped playing Cloaky afterwards. Because the acronym style is risky as it is. So it seems like people just sort of decided, you know what, it's really hard to do this. Compared to Shield. I mean, Shield and Cloaky play very differently, but they're still both bots, so given the same terrain, Shield, I guess for a lot of people, just feels like a better bot factory. Which sucks, because I like Cloaky. They are my favorite factory. Spiders is my favorite factory. But they're still up there. They're definitely the factor I tend to feel most comfortable with. At any rate, North Chilean G really on those puppies still hasn't built a pyro yet. They will in a moment, but they still haven't yet. They're very, very focused on those puppies. And I mean, I can't really blame them. Because they've been doing a job. I mean, if they have been glaives everywhere. The puppies have been having a field day. And yeah, there's the tick, so it looks like we are seeing... Glaive Tick, a slight variation on the acronym strategy with the addition of the Warrior, I guess to get rid of puppies? I mean, it wouldn't work especially well. Their range isn't great. Oh, there's. Yeah, the range is not... I mean, it's a bit better than Glaive's, and it is higher than puppies. Like 270 compared to 
170. Yeah, so warriors do have a chance to get rid of puppies, where glaives basically don't, because their range is, I think, 150. Oh, 185. So they can... They can't. It's not enough. 15 Elmo difference is not enough. So yeah, an interesting variation. The tick, however, being used more defensively. But like I said, no pyros are out yet. And the thing is, this strategy is primarily focused on countering pyros without making moderators the hard counter to the strategy, which is what happens when you use Zeus. Zeus being the more obvious answer, but like I said, the more hard counterable. Flav, however, is not hard countered by moderator. It is, in fact, a soft counter to moderator. Now, a moment of truth comes in. Placeholder holding down one of the warriors, and the puppy's able to come in, and that's... Yeah, I was a bit worried that would happen. Like, that exact thing. The warrior just wouldn't be able to do enough damage. Mind you, the placeholder really did distract it. But even then... That placeholder did die. Yeah, it died pretty hard, too. That that kind of sucks. At this point, Dorsch is going to have a relatively easy time pushing through. I mean, where's that tick? There's the tick. The tick is to sp stun out the pyro, and the pyro actually coming into a really good angle for that tick. However, North Chilean G, just like the last game we saw, they are expanding like mad. They don't really care too much about their units right now. They're just using their units just enough to force Dorsch to respect them enough so that they can expand. And that is so North Chilean G can expand. And Dorsh is respecting them, and also... Actually, they are building another factory, which is good. And they're going for Zeus. Never mind, they actually are transitioning into the more typical Zeus counter. I find that interesting, given that they were kind of going for Glaive Tick, but it looks like they're either they're changing to Zeus, or they're expecting North Chilean G expects that they're going for Mass Glaive, and they actually are going for the Firewalker as the counter to Mass Glaive, and instead using the Zeus so that they'd force moderators. I mean, that's not a bad idea if you manage to work with it. Basically, it still does force the situation where you're trying to play counters against counters rather than a situation where you're just more easily going off of better tactics. And there's the tick, 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 tick. Ah, okay, never mind. That's fine. Dorsus Commander is on the ball there. That's pretty on point, actually. All right, well done to Dorsh on that one. North Chilean G, however, set up for, like I said, anti mass glaive, which is not the concern anymore. We're seeing Rocco Zeus, which, like I said, is more of the classic way of approaching the matchup. We don't see moderators because at this point, North Chilean G is not aware that this is the case. And there's that first tick, although it looks like it went off on Dorsch, but. Or rather, on Dorsch's commander. And the Firewalker. I mean, like I said, good against Glaive Tick, but yeah, the moderator works pretty well against that. I'm mean, sorry, the moderator. The moderator doesn't work against that. The moderator works against Warrior. Warrior works well against Firewalker, which is good for Dorsh. So Dorsh right now, militarily ahead, but once the Zeus gets revealed, we're going to see moderator switch probably right away. And that could be a problem. Like, Dorsh basically has about a minute window. Maybe. Assuming North Chilean G basically... Alt builds, like emergency builds moderators right now. Yeah, I'd say it's probably on the order of a minute. And no moderators yet, so I don't know. Is North Chilean G going for that, or are they going to assume that these are the only Zeuses and not worry about it too much? I mean, the puppies will do a decent job. At least getting rid of one of the Zeuses, but the Zeuses tank them hard. So yeah, this is where moderators... This is what moderators were are there for. This is why they were buffed, basically. I mean, it used to be the moderators were about twice as heavy, twice as expensive, dealt twice as much damage, but they weren't anywhere near as useful just because of that cost. Once that cost was reduced like a year or so ago, that's what really made jump bots, well, one of the things that made jump bots viable, that and the addition of the placeholder, really helped jump bot viability as a main factory. And also helped jump bot a lot in the jump bot cloaky matchup. That being said, though, it looks like there just aren't enough Zeus's to deal with this. That's the one thing about this approach, too. You pretty much need as many Zeus's as your opponent has Pyros in order to win. And North Chilean G right now can pretty much spam out Pyros without having to worry about it, but they have plus 10 economy over Dorsch without Reclaim. Dorsch going for the Scythe instead. This is not something I see very often and is actually really risky. Like, that's, that's extremely risky. First off, because they have to be super careful not to get it into the placeholder black holes, and of course... The main reason, pyros burn things. Burning things decloak. 
So if those scythes ever get into the pyro, like into the pyro line of fire at all, they're gone. Although, admittedly, those warriors are doing a number on the pyros. Holy cr Wow, that was amazing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still surprised North Chilean G has not made moderators yet. I mean, it's been three or four minutes since that started. That... That is... I guess I shouldn't be too amazed. Warriors are a riot class unit. They're supposed to destroy raiders. Pyros are raider riots, but still. That's what they're supposed to do. North Chilean G getting hit hard, though. Dorsh coming to the sides. It's been revealed, but they're not on fire. I mean, that's the big thing. If they're on fire, they have a hard time running away. If they're not on fire, then it doesn't really cause a problem. They can decloak at will, pretty much. And now we have the moderators, finally. First, mod or first couple moderators are up, but that's way too late. At this point, we're probably going to see a factory swap from or a factory addition from Dorsh. I mean, they're still going for the Zeus Rocco setup, which means the moderators are going to be effective. There aren't a lot of glaives around. There are the sides. The sides will still be a bit of a problem. But they're actually out of position, so it doesn't really matter. Once the sides are done with the northwest side and start going down south to deal with everything here, then it'll be a difference. But now Dorsh losing a bit here on the front lines. Honestly, though, I mean, they just have all this reclaim. Hey, even the stuff that's going to be relatively trivial to get. 600 metal or so? Yeah, they're going to be stuck there for two minutes. They actually might want to put more workers on there so they can get that in time. With one worker, I don't think they're going to... They're going to win. They're either going to win or lose the reclaim field before the reclaim field is taken. With one worker. I'm not kidding. It'd be Just because of how quickly North Chilean G is rebuilding their army into a counter force... That worker, and it looks like it's just going to be seeding the reclaim field, or at least not bothering there right now. Figuring it's way too dangerous. This part is... The area over here actually isn't. 700 metal right here, that's a good couple minutes with what they have, and that's relatively safe. I mean, the puppies are threatening it a little bit, but it's overall fairly safe. Any units other than puppies come in there, and it... Oh, well, never mind, actually, the Zeus gone is a problem. Still, we're coming around the back, and nothing to deal with it. The moderators are out of position. And more Zeus Rocco coming in, so the moderators will deal with the Zeus Rocco. The warrior, however, is coming in, and this is where it starts to deal with stuff. And then that's where it dies, because there were two pyros instead of just one. Not quite enough numbers. North Chilean G's commander, however, way out of position, way too far forward. What is that thing doing? Well, not much anymore, because it's dead. So much from that. But yeah, it looks like Dorr's still ahead on here. The late monitors did cause a lot of problems for North, North Chilean G. And Dorsh, they're still going for Glaives. And they actually did add in an air planet. They added in Wolverns. That's not a bad idea, actually. But what I mean is, the Glaives are coming in. That's going to deal with the moderators, no problem. The moderators won't be an issue for very long. However, they'll still be an issue. These forces should probably retreat until the Glaive support comes in. After the Zeus, the, uh, after the Zeus is built, then the Glaives can come in. However, North Chilean G has lost a lot of their economy. They're relying on this attack. Like, this attack right here, this, this you see? This is pretty much North Chilean G's last stand. If this... If this goes, North Chilean G is going to throw in the towel. They don't have the economy to recover. There are scythes running around they can't easily deal with. I mean, they could run puppies around to deal with them, but they aren't. They have not much in the way of army to deal with what's going on. And while the moderators do pretty much counter this entire force, that's all they have to do that with. Glaives come in, tear them apart. The Wolverine comes in, tears them apart. Actually, the Wolverine's got 10 seconds left. And the scythes coming to the main base, so at least North Chilean does not, does not have to look for them. They're right at their front door. However, that's still a problem for obvious reasons. Such as knocking down the front door. Which actually isn't anywhere near as dangerous as I thought it would be. They probably should have just gone around the back, turned apart all the wind generators, and ultimately killed North Chilean... And that probably would have caused North Chilean G to surrender right there. Losing that much of their economy. Especially with having to retreat their moderators. And there's the Wyvern hitting the moderators. But yeah, having to retreat the moderators alone. And that's it. Not even a GG. North Chilean G just throws it in after losing the moderators. And that's, yeah, pretty much it. As I said. So, I hope you enjoyed that. That was interesting. 
Haven't really seen Cloaky versus Jump recently, but honestly, the lack of moderators for so long, that really hurt North Chilean G there. Moderator placeholder is basically the way you counter the Zeus force. Like, that is what they're there for. Which is why the the Glaive Tick strategy became so popular, or at least Aquinum really pushed that, because Zeus pretty much got hard countered by mass moderators, and it's very difficult to deal with that. On the other hand, moderators are going to be the only counter, pretty much. Moderator placeholder. Pyros don't do enough. That The thing is, the Zeus basically win, and the Warriors, as we saw, also basically win. So Zeus, Warrior, Rocco pretty much basically wins against anything that's not moderator supported. So that is going to be it for me tonight. Thank you for watching, and have a good night, everyone.